Welcome everybody, Mark here at Discover Your Home. Thank you again for joining me tonight. And tonight we're gonna to talk about some small uh, challenges and possibly could be mistakes uh, little detail things that you might want to make sure that are kind of you're at least either kind of in the process or thinking about in the project moving forward uh, a lot of times it's the small little details um, that really kind of bite you in the backside and really can cause a problem or not the overall desired look that you're going for when doing a bathroom or a kitchen Sounds good. Uh, and this happens to, 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 to most do-it-yourselfers, and it does happen to contractors. I mean, there's some little details that, you're, you know, that get missed that really, if just a little more planning, a little more thought goes into them, usually will make for a much better uh, remodeling project. So, uh, you know, here's the thing. I always start off with scheduling. Make sure you allow yourself ample amount of time. So, excuse me, if you're doing the project yourself, and but you are going to probably need to hire some outside outside uh, help so probably licensed plumber licensed electrician you might need a design team just somewhere to kind of help you get get you on the road you know get you on the road and then help you when you're in your journey here so some of the things I like to talk about are you know like pain is a real big thing uh, I'd like to start off early after I've kind of selected you know cabinets and um, you know countertop colors and backsplash after that's kind of all kind of set in place I always try to go in them in, into thinking what do I want this to look like when it's done because a lot of the customers rely on our opinion of what what would look good with all this to tie it together so make sure you're spending time early in the project you know so go you know if you're not good with color hire a design consultant you know there are some people that are great Hey, ask your painting contractor. You know, a lot of the guys that have been doing this for years have a real good eye for color and, you know, light, dark, depending upon, but you got to maybe either give them an example of what you're looking for or, um, you know, give them kind of a tone and avenue to go and then they can kind of help guide you. Because trust me, the worst thing that can happen in a remodeling project, at the end of it all, you get it all done, you put the paint on and the paint really doesn't I'm a big believer that the paint really kind of ties everything together. It it pulls in the colors from the cabinets and the backsplash and the countertop and the floor tile. So it really just kind of it's the it's the cherry on top, okay? And um, you want to make sure you're thinking about it early, getting some paint cards out there, you know, throwing up some you know fan deck. Hey cabinets go in start taking a look at the swatches you know hey, go pick yourself a a pint or a quart up and and put some on or have your painter put some on for you you know get get that kind of get that creative juices flowing early so you can kind of get a feel of what you want it to look like when it's done um let's see uh i would also say handles and knobs those are those are a, another big item that can be a small item that can become a big item uh, just because there's so much out there and there's so much to work with you want to make sure you're going to try to coordinate uh, maybe a style or a finish with the with your light fixtures so if you've got uh, oil rub bronze handles you might have oil rub bronze fixtures you know or a brush nickel you might want to make sure that you're kind of coordinating a little bit if you've got kind of more of a squared look or a rounded look, the softer look, you want to kind of, you know, tie those things together. So door knobs, door pulls and handles, and not only just the look, but the size of the handle, you know, based on, you know, some of these um, drawers or, you know, some of the drawers when you pull them out are, are you know, pretty big now and that in comparison to what, you know, most standard cabinets are. Uh, you know, you, you've got uh, drawers now that, you know, are 36 inches long and they're, you know, 10 inches deep and you want to make sure you got a handle that looks proper in the size of the cabinet you're p putting in there. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about lighting. Lighting is another thing. You want to make sure you're talking about the right amount of light, spacing of light. Uh, these are little things that can kind of get you into trouble a little bit if 
what what you'll find is is that if you don't plan this properly, you're gonna. I find in a lot of cases, um, you're gonna get two different lights, or you're gonna get kind of a warm light and a cool light in the same room, and you and, and you didn't really think about it. So it's something you want to think about um, what you want your overall effect to be in your kitchen, and that goes for your um, under cabinet lighting, your recessed lighting, your pendant lights. What you want it to do is uh, you want it to flow at the end of the project. When you turn on the light, you want the whole room to kind of flow together, not where it's kind of fighting one versus the other, okay? Um, make sure those things are ordered early because if they're back ordered, it can slow down a project. And if you don't have certain items, it, there again, it just adds to your project. And in the end, it really gets back to scheduling properly, making sure that you have allowed yourself the time to go ahead and do every project, every part of the project, because it is a step-by-step -step process. Uh, I think um, if you sat down and wrote out uh, what you think it would take, you would probably ha get about half the steps it really needs to take to do a project from start to complete finish between your kitchens and baths. Make sure that you, uh, anything that's custom order can anywhere from five days up to two to four weeks. Make sure you have materials in place. Make sure that you are ready to go and the people that are going to be doing the work in your home, if it's not yourself, have an idea. You just can't call them on a Tuesday and expect them to show up on a Wednesday. Uh, a lot of times they have other clients too and you might, might want to just get way in front and call them two weeks ahead of schedule saying this is what my tentative date is. Lay a calendar out for yourself and I'll tell you what, I think you'll find you, you'll have a happier uh, and more enjoyable remodeling project when it comes to doing your kitchen or your bath. So thanks again for joining me. Hopefully these are a couple helpful hints to you. And this is Mark. I'm at Discover Your Home. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks again.